All right, guys, here we are. We're out here today. We're going to go get some bait out of this pond. And the way we're going to do that, we got dust out here. This ginormous 12-foot cast net. So he's the only one tall enough to throw this thing. He's got the monkey arms out there. So let's get us some bait real quick. We're going to head down to the river, try to catch us some gar. All right, here we go. First throw of the day. Had to get it way out over that vegetation we got out there. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff hiding up in there. That's perfect. Let's see, let's see. Got some swimming action. Oh, baby crappie. Baby crappie. Those are all baby crappie. Yeah. So these are not going to help us out. There's more? Yeah. Oh gosh, there's a lot more. Another crappie. And another crappie. Kelly, that's a big one there. Hey, easy, easy, easy. Okay. So long, little guy. Hey. There's my bobber from like six years ago. I've been looking for that. Dog on it. So you try. Here we go. Oh my word! It's too long. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, we're heading out to Sunday dinner. We are a little bit late. I gotta get there, cause I'm starving. Let's see, any cars? Alright, we good. Hello everybody. Oh, dang. Out here is Sunday dinner. Hey, Mom. What you doing? Bree, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> This is Cheerio. Cheerio? Cheerio. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this faith and your story. Thank you for letting us all be here today. Lord, we just pray you bring us all back next week. Safe and sound one to another. And you know, please pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that was delicious. All right, guys, we're heading out to spot number two. Family dinner's done. We're full. my gate boy send him out <laughs> I bring him along so he can open the gates I don't gotta do too much <laughs> gosh ah that almost got me all right pulling up to the spot here just gotta get oh gosh Okay, get through here. You remember last time we come down here and what you caught? The gizzard? I think, I still got the picture of it. Caught that nice bar and then there was the alligator over on the bank. Yeah. The river's up. It's up a lot. Yeah, a good right. a little going on out in the middle. Is that your parking brake, Doc? Yeah, we don't have one. Have no. <laughs> Hold on. Oh gosh. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can get out of here. Alright guys, so we've been out here for like, what, two and a half hours? Too long. Too long. So here's the problem is the river's, the river's up super high. But yeah, the river's up too high. The current's going way too strong. So we've only seen a couple gar roll and usually, you know, you'll see 10 or 15 and 10 minutes, pretty crazy, but. All right, we'll see y'all at spot number three. All 
There's got to be something in here. I saw something floating to the top of it already. Oh, yeah. Is it heavy? I caught it. What's up? I caught it. That's a bat, dog. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. Hold me. It's like two and a half pounds. <laughs> Not a PB or anything. But... Oh my gosh! Oh, some shad. Man, what? Oh yeah. So that's a fish in his mouth. What? See the fin? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's fish fin in there. Oh my gosh! That's a good boy. He's been eating whole perch. For reference, I say I'm six four now. Nice the best. Golly. Did you know that was in there? No, I did not. Didn't know that was in there. I'm excited though. I thought we were gonna catch a turtle. I'm about to be back out here with some bait gear. I mean some bass gear. I thought we were about to catch us a turtle. Bye buddy. He's out of here. Wow. Well, well I didn't expect that one. That was success. Huh? Stuff right there. Oh my god. Gosh. Not quite bait fish. Guys, this is the smallest pond that we got. And it had that two and a half pound bass in there. I can't wait to see what else we get out of here. Golly. Yeah, so one time I did catch three and a half pound catfish out of here, which isn't the biggest. But it's still a good size. So I guess it the thing is though, whenever the river comes up, it floods this oh. pond every time. So I don't know, do you think that fish hunker down in here when the water goes down or do you think that the river takes them out We're out here in the middle but a 15 foot hole that's about all it is just a hole here yeah because when we dug it it's like that straight it's a straight drop the river will flow through cutting across this field it provides a deep little shelter where the fish can lay down next thing you know they've lost all access on both sides that's how you end up with a little two and a half pound bass stuck in yeah. the pond. Yeah. That's good stuff. You know what? We might should have taken him to the river. Yeah, well, should have. Or we should have taken him to Lester's Pond. Guys, do y'all think that we should stock Lester's Pond? Let me know. Let me know. We were thinking about it earlier, but it's a lot of work to stock a pond, a lot of transport. And it's hard to keep fish alive for a long time without a actual live well or anything. Let us know. We'll see what we can do about that. Awesome. Okay. I would, I would have been so upset. Yep. Hey, big wow. Oh. I thought that was him again. It may have been at first. It is another baby crappie. And a little perch. Here you go, Jake. So guys, the main point of today's little adventure out there throwing that cast net was not only to get bait fish for whenever we're going out to the river to go do some gar fishing and stuff. Uh, if you guys want to see some of that, I'd be happy to show you. It's a lot of fun. Um, but also, you know, we, we were kind of thinking how much life is left in these ponds. Um, it's a really good question. You know, the river comes up, it floods it, it goes down. Uh, they get partially dried up. It pours down a lot and they're back to normal levels so it's always a mystery of whether there's actually life left in there or not and then you know also the ponds aren't that big so you have a concentrated area of bait and a surplus of predators uh, turtles bass catfish 
Um, so you never know, you know, how things can survive because if the bottom of the food chain is gone, it means the top's about to be too. So it's good to see that there's still a lot of bait, a lot of small fish going on in there. And you know, I'm sitting here thinking, I want to go check out Lester's Pond down there. Um, I know we were talking earlier about restocking it. Um, you know, that pond was dug just about a year ago. So I want to see over one year how much life could possibly be in that pond and maybe we don't need to stock it maybe it's full and you know maybe stocking it might be a good idea so that'll probably be the next thing we do so stay tuned and we'll get back to it i'm gonna be like le